Hi, Pike families. I'm going to go over quickly how to get your students set up in your shared Chrome browser. Sometimes it's really important for our kids to be logged in in their Pike Google account. And if you're logged in in your um, on your laptop as a, uh, a parent account or some other um, Google account, things can go kind of awry. So let's take a quick look at how to change that. So I'm, I'm opened up Chrome and I can go up to the top right hand corner way up here and you'll see that there's a little picture or it could be an, a letter like your initial. If you click on that, you can see who's logged in to this account and you can add other people. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add another account to this experience so that I can have a kid version, a Pike student version, and I can keep my own login. So I would have my own bookmarks and everything. So I just pick a picture and give this one a name. So this would be um, maybe son Alex. And I'm going to add that. And then now we have an entirely new browser window that pops up with that experience going on with all of those things logged in as that kid. So I can click this already a Chrome user sign in because each student already has a Gmail or a Google account. They're not real email addresses until they're in sixth grade. So K through five, it just looks like an email address, but six through 12, it really does have Gmail attached. So it is a, an email address. And it's always their student ID number. Yours will start with 500, and then it's students with an S dot Pike dot K12 dot IN dot US. And they'll use their same school password. So hopefully you still have that one that you remember or that the student remembers. And then we're going to go ahead and click link data. So all of their shortcuts from school that they created in Chrome on their Chromebooks will come so they can have those there. And we're going to turn that on for yes, I'm in. So that sync happens. So now you'll notice that my student has this clever icon up here. So that comes from us at school pushing that out. That way, if I click on that while I'm logged in as the student, then student will be able to save a lot of these logins so they don't have to keep going through the process the whole time. So I would find the school and click that login with Google. And then because I'm logged in here with that account, that student account, it's going to automatically know to log that in with that Google account. And that way my student can go straight to Canvas. And from here, they've got access to their Canvas accounts. They've got access to any of the um, clever accounts like their online textbooks, um, BrainPop, uh, MobyMax, all of that comes with it. And it's just as easy as setting up a different Google profile. So that should hopefully help. Now, you can also do this on a tablet or an iPhone. You'll have to go into the settings and add another Gmail or Google account and use the student's IDs. And then that will allow you to use um, clever and Canvas and log in as well through those Google accounts. This is really important if your teacher is setting up a Meet. So meet.google.com and then your teacher will provide you with that nickname for the account for the uh, meeting room. So you'll just click use a meeting code. You'll type in that nickname and then it'll allow your student to get in to hang out with the teacher and do some of that face to face online learning. Um, but they do have to be logged into Google. And so this is the way that you can have multiple accounts on the same computer. Hopefully that's helpful. If you have any questions, please call our tech helpline at 317-387-2525. We're open eight to three school days. And if you need to leave a message, we'll get back to you on the next.